Tellio there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'll be showing you the easiest way to install Windows 10 step by step. If you want to install a fresh copy of Windows 10, this is the easiest way to do it. This will work on any PC with Windows 7, Windows 8 or even if your computer is upgraded to Windows 10. This is so easy your mum could do it. All you need is an 8 gigabyte USB stick and just follow those steps. And for me, when I done it on my Dell XPS 15 the first time, it actually kept my Dell petitions as well. I will be doing a more advanced way to install Windows 10 video soon. And that's for if you've replaced your hard drive or SSD, you want to be able to boot into that USB instead of just running it from your computer, which obviously you can't do if you change the hard drive. I'll be doing a video on that. So subscribe if you want to see that and just follow these steps. They're so easy. Let's crack on and get into it. Okay, first thing you want to do is locate your USB stick, stick it into your computer and I formatted it. You don't have to format it, it's up to you. I formatted it FAT32 if you're interested in that. But you don't have to do it, it's going to wipe over that USB stick anyway. So once you've done that, just go to Google and type in Windows 10 ISO and it will take you directly to the Windows 10 ISO download page. Okay, now make sure you back up everything. Back up everything before you do this. Now press on download the tool. And then once it's downloaded, you just run it. This is all time lapse, so it's going to take a lot longer than it actually shows on the screen here. So what you want to do now is just accept the terms. And once you accept the terms, you want to create a media for another PC. So create installation media for another PC. So now what you want to do is select the appropriate windows for your system. So you want to select your language and select 64 bit or 32 bit. If you're using a computer that you're going to be installing windows on, just click on this checkbox here and then click next. Now choose what you want, USB or ISO, you want to choose USB in this case. And once that's done, press next and let it go through the process here. And there you have it, you've created your USB media tool. And that's it, you just press finish and it's as simple as going into that USB stick, looking inside it and clicking on Setup EXE and that's it. That's basically it. All you have to do is follow the prompts now. And I will show you all the prompts you're gonna get. Now, it's gonna say, do you wanna download important updates? I recommend doing this, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it no for the moment so I can get through it quicker. Now, if you click on do updates, it's gonna take longer. So, it just goes through and check your system to see if you can do it. And here, what we want here is to change this. We want to change it to keep nothing. So there you go. We change it on to keep nothing because we've already backed up our files, of course, and we want a fresh install. So it's ready to install now. And all you do is click on install, bang. And once you click on install, you should see this screen and it's going to go through the steps of installing it and it's going to restart your PC and start installing it. Now, this is the next page you'll get. Set up this according to your region here. I'm going to set it on Australia and with the US keyboard. And this bit here, you can enter your Wi-Fi password if you want. And also, if you want to go into the settings and change them, change them by all means. For this video, I'm just pressing on Express. Now you create your name for your computer. Of course, you should do a password. Then you'll be greeted by this screen. And then after that, boom, that's it. You've just fresh installed Windows 10 on your computer and it was that easy and it's that simple. And you'll actually notice that you've got your Wi-Fi driver here. And all you do from here on now is just do your Windows update and you've got a fresh, clean copy of Windows 10 on the computer. So I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And until next time, guys, Tally ho.